Hey there, liberal viewer. I normally agree with a lot of your videos, and I think documenting uh, Fox News bias is really important. But there's one thing I feel must come into question, and that is your support of the Citizens United decision um, uh, versus... Um, can't quite remember what it was versus, but the, the support of that decision um, is a problem. And you can look at the last election as a direct result of that. You have people who can give unlimited uh, campaign, or hold on, let, let me put it this way. My uh, school district, uh, my college, gives money to a company to a corporation to receive a product, this being the paper towels um, of Georgia Pacific and their, uh, their toilet paper. And this goes, obviously, to the Coke industry, or sorry, Coke industries. And this uh, money is then given to political campaigns, Republicans, that then go on to, or, or it goes into political um, organizations that promote Republicans or Libertarians. And then these people who are elected then um, cut the budget for the school. So taxpayers are paying for all this, essentially. They're paying for political uprisings. And I do think that is a problem. Um, and I'm not sure what a good, you know, rule of law should be, but it shouldn't be this. Liberal view, and I hope... I, I, I just want to stress the point that we are essentially seeing, and especially, you know, keeping in mind what's going on in Wisconsin right now. Um, it just seems like it is, honestly, a fascist country that is, and it's not controlled by the government. It might seem like it is, but it is in actuality controlled by the corporations now. Government just handed their rule over. The media is controlled by the corporations. And we're seeing a continuous uh, destruction of independent media and public media um, in service of the more entertaining media, which is now our uh, rule of law. And that's been something that's been continuous for a long time, um, ever since media's inception, or um, journalist journalism's inception. And... I understand that you, you, you mean you yourself notice that it puts you um, at odds with most of the left. I mean, there, there's a reason for that. You, it, it's not so much that's free speech. In fact, you, you, you say, um, you know, you have to be able to sue corporations in order to, um, I mean, you have to refer to them as a person in order to sue them. Um, and I'm one of those, yes, who is against corporate personhood. So, I, I want you to keep in mind that these corporations are constantly trying to enact tort reform to get rid of, I love they call the word reform, to, to get rid of the, the ability to do that even. You're essentially giving them that ability. It's kind of like uh, removing laws um, that require... Uh, employers to allow uh, people of ethnic minorities or minorities of any general um, that requires a quota, the quota system, um, because of uh, potential, you know, racist, you know, connotations getting played in there. And I think that should be based on the population of the area, you know? The population is this much, then it should be this much. But that depends from place to place, I guess. Um, but just, just imagine if that was taken out. Then you could have racist policies enacted anyway. And 
it's it's sort of like you know sorry I kind of deviated there liberal viewer please stop your support of this we need the full ACLU support of getting rid of this this law itself is undermining democracy it has put the corporations in control of the media it has put corporations in control of the politicians and you control both of those and you're pretty much left with uh, continuously moving right and right and right uh, political spectrum and I fear uh, you know the rich are gonna get rich and the poor are gonna get poor and there will be nothing to amend that and you know we we are essentially like the democratic party is the party of the moderate and i'm s just so dissatisfied with it the person representing the district i grew up in is one of those blue dog democrats and while i definitely prefer him over the republicans this should not be the battle of the lesser two evils why don't we actually have a viable uh, another good option but we have no chance on getting that viable good option. I'm referring, of course, to Green Party or, like, candidates that just can't get elected. Um, hell, I wish every candidate was like Kucinich, but or every Democratic candidate was like Kucinich. But not every one of them are. So, I mean, you have people like, again, the Blue Dog Democrats. Um which are pretty much, it feels like a remnant of the party uh, from the 1800s. So, basically, they are the conservative Democrats. And I, I'm just fed up with this. We can't get an actual stance. And this is where I take a time to go ahead and publicize or promote the Green Party. They have a comprehensive platform, far more comprehensive than the Republicans, than the Democrats, and the Libertarians' uh, comprehensive national platform. And you don't really get that in a lot of campaigns. You get maybe these two candidates which slightly differ on these issues, but they're made to seem like they oppose each other, like, you know, this fist, fist fight. Barack Obama does not support gay marriage. He does not. I was duped into believing that. Seriously. Gay groups were, like, universally behind him. Um, I'm glad to see civil unions underway, but what I want to see is civil marriage for everyone. Or at least the term marriage becoming meaningless in the terms of law. And then everyone's just referred to as in the union. That's that's a good alternative. Um, but the basis is we need an equal system. We can't just call it this and call it that. Um, yeah, that is discrimination. Now, is it the biggest issue in the world? No. Um, if we had like an issue out in Uganda, that maybe would, yeah would be obviously one of the biggest ones. This is just in terms of uh, everything else. It will generate a very anti-gay sentiment, um, and it's easy to take away their right to have a civil union, and very easy to take away their right to get married, because we don't have that protection of the minority. Um, you know, so these people, the Koch brothers, I don't think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Liberal viewer, I think you of all people should know that, you know, the taxpayers, and I'm a student, and I don't really pay taxes and uh, at the moment. I did when I um, work, though. And you do when you pay sales taxes. But it's just, you don't want your money going through the state to the institutions that then give a part of that money to the corporations, corporations give that money to the politicians, politicians then give that money to the uh, pol uh, those politicians give the money who, who have used that you know new, new power that they're given to take away the money of these institutions yet the institutions still give these companies the money 
And keep in mind that especially in ununionized states, like states that do not have collective bargaining, um, or, or, or do not have, uh, you know, generally without unions, especially down here in the South, we have people who just cannot get together. People who just feel there's nothing they can do. And we need your support. We need your support to get rid of these uh, institutions, or sorry, get rid of this law. This is not a just law. Um, you know, students are having to pay more and more tuition as well because of this. And to see someone who's called liberal viewer supporting the decision, that's one of the direct reasons they are now paying more in tuition when, in fact, those that want a higher education should get the higher education for free if they are, uh, you know, proving uh, to succeed academically, then, you know, the institutions can be fixed. They can have uh, a better way of working. Can we please have your support? Um, and again, as I said, you've you've been right there, uh, you know, hammer on the nail for almost every other video. There's I think there's only one, uh, just like two videos I've seen that I've found something disagreeable with you. Other than them, other than them, I've enjoyed your material. And I just feel like you need to be able to look at this from a more you know complex or a more wider scope. But if I'm the one that's in fault, it's uh, not seeing this thing entirely. Then by all means, you know, show me. I'm I'm not irrational. Um, I will you know if it seems like I'm in fault, then show me this. But if you recognize that students will pay higher tuition because of this, if you recognize that programs will be cut, that um, you know this decision might be directly responsible for uh, the media getting worse and worse, for Planned Parenthood getting a lot of its funding cut, for PBS and NPR getting its funding cut, and for the Republicans now getting money from the taxpayers almost, you know, in indirectly, but it still gets there. This decision is responsible for that, and we need your support.